Your house? Your house is this uh, cursed looking thing there? Oh. What? Is that really your house? Something must have happened to it. An enormous two story. What are you like from the Dracula family? Yeah. An enormous two story mansion looms over the rest of the neighborhood. Normally it would be pretty awesome, but it's sitting where your normal boring house suppo is supposed to be. That is weird, what happened to your house. Oh, too bad the woman went away, because she has a dog. Maybe I would have used the used the poster on her and asked her if she's seen the dog. Oh. Yeah, and there was also other stuff in the tunnel, on the ground. Maybe some of that stuff you could pick up. I don't know. Anyway, here's mailboxes, too. Look. Four houses share this mailbox post, including yours. Okay. You shouldn't open other people's mailboxes. Yours is on the end. Oh, you can look at the fence. You remember painting this fence with your brother a few years back. Mrs. Prepuck paid you a handsome $10. That's up. Maybe yes. can I call my brother now? Maybe. <laughs> like, I could tell him what... Yeah, I'm what? Are you, are you in your room now? What happened to the house? Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> Dial your brother's number. Hi, you've reached Chad. Except you also missed Chad. Sorry. That was Chad. That was my brother. You see? It even says Chad. Yeah. I'm probably busy doing something important. Or at least something whatever it is. So it's just a, a, a voice answering machine. Okay, let's have a look. You could like leave a message though. That'll be cool. I might call you back if I re if I remember. Maybe can I call mom? Cause she's somewhere now. Ah, oh, the battery's trying to go down. Also. You dial your mom's number and it rings twice, three, four times. She picks up. This is a bad time, Snookers. If you need anything, just ask your brother. Okay? Bye. She hangs up. She's really busy. There you go. Sidewalk. Maybe it's just the ordeal at school and the weird weather playing tricks with your imagination. It's gotta be your house, right? Sidewalk. You move further down the street to stand in front of what used to be your house. The large house reaches up toward the ominous sky. Well, things got really stormy now. It's twisted windows, portals to madness. This is your address, but this is definitely not the home you left this morning. Your house got cursed, dude. Yeah. The door is twice as big and easily three times as ornate as it should be. You wonder if your house key will still work. And remember the thing about your keys is under the, on the back steps? You st struggle with a knob, but it's not budging. You may as well try your house key, just in case. But it's under the... Stairs. These seem like the same rickety porch stairs you've always had, but when attached to this particular house, they seem more sinister. Evil looking at them. Where? She said it was a key, but if I can't... Uh, yeah, well, she said back steps, right? That could be at the back of the house. The well, what is here? It's still all a mystery. Next, Next door. door. You hop down the steps and head back to the street. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, now it's getting uh, very puzzling. What happened if I use this, combine this with the top hat? You hold the rose in front of your face and breathe deeply through your nose. Ah, grape soda. It smells like grape soda. Use uh, an blue rose. You place the hat on, okay, on your head, but it's too small. Wait, what? 
What if they put this on my legs? Shoot on? You told the sneaker aloft and wave it around. The laces whip in all directions. That's it. Maybe if I put them <laughs> You hold out the flyer. Have you seen this dog? Short brown fur, about seven years old. He has short brown fur. Yeah. Backyard, there you go. Mm -hmm. You creep along the side of your fence into the backyard. There you go. In spite of the weirdness in your neighborhood, your backyard provides a welcome retreat. A peaceful quiet blankets the enclosure. So, this, this is more comfortable to you, this place. You crouch down and lean your head under the porch for a better look. Now this is where she said the key should be. Cola can. It's a beat up old cola can. Nobody would drink, would think to look in here for the spare key. That's what makes it a good hiding place. You pick up the cola can and shake it, listening as the spare key clanks around inside. After a moment, it falls out. Ah, that was a tricky little thing, huh? To get the key like that. It's the spare key into your house. You hope that it works. Great. So now at least you got that. Back out of the hole and stand up. Jesus. Yeah. Let's have a look around in the backyard. You and Chad used to compete at climbing this tree until that one time mom found him and demanded he get down immediately. He broke his arm in the fall. Ty tire swing. Ah, the good old tire swing. You got a lot of memories tied up in this wheel of fun. <laughs> you giddily run up and jump into the tire as it flies forward and you lean back. You close your eyes and can't help but shouting, Whee! The moment passes and you reluctantly lower yourself to the ground. You hold the swing until it stops moving and step away. Life's so much more complicated now. Toy truck. You don't play in the sandbox anymore, and that is not your truck. Are kids coming in here and using your sandbox? What? There's like new toys? Toy dino. That tiny T-Rex is ferocious looking. Who's been playing dinosaurs back here? These aren't even your toys. It's so weird. You slip the dinosaur toy into your pack. It might be useful later. Huh. What kind of situation that would be needed? I think I put it in here. Maybe. Roar! The, that, the toy makes cool sounds when you shake it. Oh, okay. Spade. See, this could be useful. I can imagine this would be useful. It's mom's standard gardening spade. Great for planting bulbs and digging up weeds. Definitely take that. You brush off the dirt and tuck the spade into your things. And what about the barbecue, huh? Grill. Just a grill? Get out of here. This is Charmeister Elite Ultimate Grilling System. <laughs> I don't want to go in just yet. At least to save yeah. before you go into that house, that's for sure. Yeah, let's see. But also don't forget that you can uh, look in the fence. Maybe you can figure out the neighborhood. Yeah. This wooden fence keeps the yard safe and enclosed. You're glad to have it with that crazed poodle in the area. <laughs> yeah, she might be a new neighbor. This door leads into the laundry room slash mudroom of your house. This door should lead right into the laundry room, but it's locked. Unfortunately, this door takes a different key than the rest of the house. 
it doesn't it take the key that you maybe that's where you're supposed to the way you're supposed to go inside yeah maybe you try with the key no because then to the Well, you could go back, which is probably around here somewhere, but I would try with a key on the door. You retreat around the side of the house, back out to the street. down the street to stand in front of what used to be your house. You're standing on the porch of a classic haunted house. The boards creak under your feet and the wind whistles through the bare branches of nearby trees. Very spooky. Like, you struggle with the knob but it's not budging. You may as well try your house key just in case. Yeah, you drag the key onto No, that's your locker key, right? Yeah. Okay. You slip your house key into the lock and cross your fingers. You turn the key and the door opens. Maybe it's your house after all. In a weird nightmare. The, do the door is twice as big and easily three times as ornate as it should be. At least it's open now. Well, I don't think... I think she meant like in the backyard Without a doubt, not your house. Mom would never let the entryway get this dirty. You can smell the dust and decay in the air. Well, there's a lot to interact and look at here in this visual. Something weird with the carpet, even. Coat rack, look. This is the only element of the room that belongs in your house. Huh. Mom loves coat racks for some reason. So do I. I love these things. Even though... Uh, even though company rarely uses them anymore. A lot to check out here. Something weird about the carpet also. Archway. I'm trying to look at the carpet, but I don't Oh. Like it. Mm. it doesn't have a thing. Yeah. Archway. It's dark, but you think you can make out a dining room through the arched door doorway. We haven't seen no monsters yet, except for that creepy guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, we creepy guy, the poodle that almost ate your face, and the bunny, which is not a monster, but that was definitely a magical thing. Yeah. Let's go through here. You hurry across the foyer to the dining room. It looks dark. Oh Whoa. my god. You step into the dining room and spring back, immediately noticing a, a woman at the table. She eyes you intently, like a hawk searching for prey. What? She looks creepy. What is she doing there sitting all alone? It looks creepy smile, huh? Is that blood running down her mouth? I can't deal with this music anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Look. You've never seen this woman before in your life. How'd she get in? Maybe she lives here. In the haunted version of your house, that is. That is weird. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this is shrunk the man done. An old lady? You hold out the shrunk head, but she's not quite sure what to make of it. She grins sweetly to be polite. She's just smiling like this. Crone. A toothy grin spreads across the woman's face before she speaks. There you are, Sean. Come give me a big kiss. I knew it was an old version of my mom. I just knew that. I don't think anybody's. I know, I know. I mean, yeah, it could be, but no one's saying it's. That's not written. Yet. Taken aback by her forward request, you aren't sure what to say. You shake your head. Ah, uh, is that any way to treat your aunt, Delia? Your aunt. Escape. Apologize or suspicious. Something just isn't right about her. I don't have an Aunt Dahlia. But, but of course you do. I'm a distant relative and haven't visited since you were very little. Except? Or no way. Mom would have mentioned you and she never has. Who are you really? Well, of course she wouldn't. I'm from your father's side of the family. Accept or don't budge. Sorry, lady. I don't have any idea who you are. Hmm. I'll be waiting here when you learn some manners. There's another dream. You walk past the table into the next room. Oh my god, look at this room. The den is where the family gathers to watch TV or, or just hang out together. You don't want to hang out in this version for too long, though. Jeez, look at this place. Do you see a highlighted object in this room? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Film. Look. It's a roll of film. You can load this into a camera and take pictures. Well, that's cool if you find a camera also. You tuck the film away for safekeeping. Maybe you'll find a camera later. This is how we took pictures in the old days. <laughs> I'm going to very like... Yeah. Dong, dong. <laughs> Your heart's beating? Yeah. Remote. There's a whole gaming system. You hide the remote inside your backpack. Is that on? I don't want to <laughs> Game. Aren't there enough video games in your life right now? Step back into the dining room. That strange woman is still seated in the dining room. She idly sips her drink, waiting for you to strike up a conversation. Her eyes are almost daring you to do so. I'm curious about that drink. I don't know if that's possible. You duck into the kitchen. The kitchen looks like a period piece from a time you want nothing to do with. You immediately notice a dripping sound. You strain to hear the source of the dripping. It's so faint it will be hard to find it. You struggle to think of ways to make it louder. You want to track down the drip, but you need to increase its volume. So you're trying to figure out what's dripping. This refrigerator is, well, green. It's incredibly green. I think this is just a part of the game where you turn the volume down. Maybe, maybe. But sometimes my speaker is, uh, uh, like if there's not loud enough sound, then sometimes this happens. Okay, yeah. Open. You 
grip the handle firmly and pull open the fridge. Okay, it looks like some grape soda and some stuff. Purple stuff. It's a large bottle of juice. If you're not really a fan, drinking stuff like this makes you feel like an old man. <laughs> you're certainly not going to drink it, but you find yourself taking the juice anyway. Or maybe if my aunt just drank that drink which made her old. Jelly jam. The jelly jam branded f fruit preserves. Trust jelly jam for only the best jellies and jams. Sure thing. You never know. You decide to take the flavor of jelly jam with you. And what about the freezer also? Fridge. This refrigerator is well green, incredibly green. You can't, oh, okay. So you can't open the other part. Toaster. You can't think of the last time you made toast, yet the toaster is right on the counter. What about the dish and this machine, blender? Oh. Mom's been on a smoothie kick lately because they're easy to eat on the run. Just like, just like your mom. Dishwasher. Hello, old friend. Old friend? Yeah, maybe there's some, you, you could use like a knife or like a fork. Opening it would only bring your chores into stark relief. There will be time later. <laughs> and every once in a while there's a shine there. Ah, but this could be something under sink, yeah. A standard wide cupboard beneath the sink. It needs to be large enough for a plumber to fit for repairs. Yeah. You reach down and open the cupboard. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we got some stuff going on here. This pipe leads from the sink down into the sewer, eventually. It seems sturdy enough. Dish soap. A bottle of liquid soap. It claims to leave your dishes squeaky clean and your hands sneaky soft. Yeah. You lock the top and drop the dish soap in your back. A suspicious looking sponge. As you move left and right, it almost seems to be following you. Watching. That's a weird sponge. Against your better judgment, you pass the sponge into your bag. What if I you gently squeeze the bottle. Not quite enough to make soap come out. Instead, it creates several tiny bubbles that float for several meters before popping. Oh yeah, you make like little bubbles that fly in the air. Delightful. Panel. Yeah, this is a wooden panel's been hastily attached here. Someone uh, put it there in a the rush. You wonder why they did that. Maybe something is hidden behind there. Maybe. Can you use a thing on it? Maybe this drawer looks suspicious. Mm -hmm. This is normally Mom's junk drawer. She puts everything in it, which means you can't ever find anything. So what's inside? Batteries, scissors, 61 paper clips, keys, furniture, assembly instructions. Only one way to find out. It's Just like, to open it. Yeah. You pull the door open. Okay. A talisman. Wow. It's somebody's art project. They created a medal with ingredients found in nature. Okay. You decide it looks like a talisman. Something almost voodoo-ish about it. Yeah. I want to take it. Yeah, you decide to take the talisman with you. Maybe it can ward off some of this weirdness. Yeah, maybe it can, you can use it to protect yourself against like ghosts or something. Uh, use talisman. Maybe use it on the old lady, on Dahlia. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You hold it. The talisman close and it vibrates a little. That's a neat trick. But have you ch uh, checked that uh, blinking? Uh, or is it here? Yeah. 
disposal. Yeah, the Americans, they have a disposal in this thing. You peer into the drain leading to the garbage disposal. There's something else down there. Something shiny. Something shiny in there. Oh, it's a scary thing to... to because it goes you right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. That's a good way to grind up a perfectly good spade, but a terrible way to retrieve an object from a drain. There's something suspicious about this uh, sink thing. Yeah, you open it up. Maybe it, there's some tools you can sort of pry the screws open with, like... Oh, like with a, my key! Yeah, maybe you can get like a key or a coin or something. That isn't your locker. <laughs> okay. Maybe the spade? Like, I, I would maybe use a spade on the screws. What is a spade? Oh, yeah. Could be. Use spade on screw? Yeah, there you go. You jab the spade at it ineffectually. Turns out there are some problems too big for a shovel to solve. Okay. Maybe, maybe you'll find a thing for it later. And you can still, you don't want to turn on the TV or, well, there's so much to do, like, uh, there's so many options in this house. But this is something we should remember. So that we're looking for something to screw that up with, right? Yeah. Um, no. About the cupboards, is that something? Pantry. The kitchens are full of these cupboards. It's so hard to keep track of where you put stuff. You reach up and open the cupboard. This is a very spooky game. Yeah. Ooh. Purple PB. Peanut butter. What? Oh, it's just jelly. No, wait. The label says purple peanut butter. Okay, then. Purple peanut butter. That's weird, right? Yeah. Might as well take it. You slip the jar of purple peanut butter into your backpack. You back out of the kitchen. A strange woman is still seated in the dining room. She's still drinking, waiting for you to talk. Her eyes are almost daring you to talk. I know. Um. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> you hold out the talisman, but she's not quite sure what to make of it. She grins sweetly to be polite. <laughs> like you both are acting weird. You hold out the purple PB, but she's not quite sure what to make of it. Hallway. You walk past the table into the next room. The den is where the family gathers to watch TV or just hang out together. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. You've heard of grandfather clocks, but this must be a great grandfather clock. It seems very old and expensive. You also examine it, like check it out. You move in for a closer look at the clock. Oh yeah, yeah. There's like old years there, 1976, 1986, there's a tab, okay. Look. These little tabs seem to mark different years. They demonstrate just how old this clock really is. So it goes all the way back to 1976. This needs to be a puzzle though. Yeah, probably. You can examine the room or... Turn on. You press power, but nothing happens. No sounds, just nothing. Open. You crack the door and peek through. Looks like it leads to the laundry room. Uh, and that's where the garden is. Right? That give me another hug. <laughs> because this might lead to more... More horror. Yeah. You pass through to the next room. The laundry room is an oddly welcome sight. At first glance it appears exactly like you left it, other than an extra door. Oh, so it's just like, so this is not so different, except for the extra door. It had Oop. blue light coming out of it. Which one do you think is the the, the weird door here? Here. Yeah, I think so too. See, there's Lincoln. Ah, I saw it now, yeah. 
the dryer is running at the moment. This is like my grandmother's uh, uh, laundry room. Really? This is a very scary place? It, it, yeah, it actually looks like this. Yeah, I was scared of the piss when I was doing it. You tug at the handle, but it won't budge. Can you turn it on? No. Sounds like there's something inside. You can't tell what it is through the window. There's something weird in the dryer, okay. Supply. A supply cupboard to hold all your laundry supplies. Okay, yeah. What? That looks like a box. Like a, a, a dryer sheet? Okay, I don't know what that is. It's a box of fabric softener sheets. Okay, I, I haven't heard of that specific. At least now your bag will, s and it has a nice smell, yeah. So you take that. At least now your bag will smell nice. What if I... Uh, what if I just... You leave a dryer sheet behind to fight any potential static electricity. What? Okay. How can you open the dryer? And there's the dirty clothes. Basket. You can look. The basket's full of dirty clothes. You hope laundry wasn't your chore this this week. <laughs> sniff, sniff. Ah! You slide open the latch and pull the door open. Oh, so now I can come from here. Mm -hmm. the yes. Let's Oh, it's a closet, okay. Open. You open the door, eager to find out what this new room could be. Wow. What is this? It's creepy. Move. You step away from your safe, normal laundry room. Wow. What? What kind of dimension? You stand at the foot of infinity. What is this? What is this place? Look how weird the, all the stairs are. Yeah. Wow. Ah, oh, there. You spotted something. Yeah. Film. Even more film. Maybe you're supposed to find a camera and take pictures of things. Yeah. What is this? The door. Door that is on the floor. Oh, yeah, you see. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see it now. Yeah. I didn't notice it. I didn't see it as a door first because it's so weird, so unusual. But yeah, this is like a lot of different sides of the house. Right, all put together in a weird way. That would Where be is this hole? Path, curving around per perpetuity. Door, look. It cannot exist. <laughs> it cannot exist. Okay. And like this is weird. Like there's a square, a dark square of like a shadow of a door. Path. It's a path. Curving around perpetuity. This is just so confusing all of this. Yeah, sometimes uh, the horrors, uh, they go in your mind, like, you know, they make you dizzy in your thoughts. What in the world? You see, these stairs, this door side. <laughs> There's a lot of weirdness going on. Look. Going on. It cannot exist. But that, maybe that one can exist. <laughs> <laughs> You, you do the choices now. I want to okay. see, see how you go. Alright. First of all, let's just make sure there's no way back here. Let's look at the phone again. I don't want to use it up too much because it's just on. So this is a red thing. You're here now. <laughs> You're like in another dimension. <laughs> Away from 
the house, which is in itself so, in another dimension. It's red, and you remember where the other guy, guy? This was the last room you were in, though. Yeah, but remember where the other guy? When, whoa. What is that? Oh, that's the in the woods. But on the side of the woods, there was something creepy there, huh? We don't. We never went to that. Place. No. It's like a werewolf. Yes, it does. Or a bat. Bat or well. Yeah. But maybe that has to do with the cre the madness out there. Yeah. What's your next? And it's red, like the other one with the bat, and also with the guy. So that means, like, they, they could kill you, like, they're... Dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so the old lady, yeah, Dahlia, yeah, that was red, right? Yeah. Well, we are here, and we can't go back, so I guess we need to really uh, have uh, try things out here. Mm, yeah. Don't. Don't. So, oh. I would save here if I like, because you're. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go back here for a sec. So, as you see, this is where we came from, but there's a lot of sides of the house. It looks like that yeah. is the puzzle. Right. So, let me think this through. That door leads to that, which means that. If we only had some way to go under the ground, and figure out these places. Exactly. Oh, did we try this? Oh, this one not exist. I think it's just gonna say, it does not exist. Don't. The, the old lady mm -hmm. is red, so she's dangerous. Maybe, let's just stay with things that are safe. And let's just go outside for a second. Let's just get what we can from the areas we know are safe. Yeah. You head out the door and down the porch steps into the backyard. Your backyard is as peaceful as ever. The back door is unlocked, allowing access in inside through the laundry room. That's good. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. Oh. Ooh. You jab the spade at it ineffectually. Turns out there are some problems too big for a shovel. Well, it was a good idea, though. Yeah, because maybe we would find, like, a treasure or something? Yeah. Maybe use the spade on the grill? On, on the side yard, yeah. Maybe. You jab the spade at it. Okay, it doesn't work. Yeah. But and your mom also said to to kill the weeds. Yeah. Are they? On the side yard. Yeah. No, it doesn't work. Um. Well, maybe the lady would like a flower. Yeah, but she is kind of... You saw she was red, so... But maybe I can make her nice and happy. You need to go here. I'm just checking if like this is something I can... The washing machine? Yeah, see the wa washing machine? <laughs> Mom's trusty top-loading washing machine. Just like my grandmother. She had it exactly like this also. In her room like this. She gets so angry when Chad forgets to empty his pockets. This may be open. The washer drawer opens easily. Okay. Uh, please? Maybe? Maybe. You have to shut the door before you can run the wash. Well, maybe... What kind of wash? The hat? Or was there something that was stinky? The old shoes? Or if 
What about the if the cleaning soap? Where's the here? There is soap. Okay, so that I put soap in there. Something happened. I did put soap in there. And now if I put the shoe. Nah. It, it blinked, but. Okay, but you still have the soap. Okay, so I don't know. I guess that's it with the washer. Okay, okay, so let's just try here. No, the, the sponge. Noticing the bathroom is locked, you knock on the door, there's no response. There's a bathroom down here. And then to go back, living room, you, you decide to retire to the den. Yeah, I would check out stuff here. Like pictures, bookshelf. The bookshelf stretched from floor to ceiling, full of your dad's book collection. What is test? You could test it. Like try. It's a weird thing to say about a bookshelf. I know. Well, let's test it. Okay. You push and pull several books to check for secret passages. Oh, that, that. But no such luck. The most you found was a paper cut. <laughs> uh, check. You slide so many horses off the shelf and into your collection. What? There's a book called So Many Horses. <laughs> you? An equestrian, that means uh, horse stuff. Badge. An equestrian page turner called So Many Horses. Okay, you never know. Maybe it makes the uh, Dahlia into a peaceful, lovely lady. But we got a. No <laughs> but we got something new. Uh, so that was, that was all we got that from check. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then TV didn't work. You trace the power cord and it's plugged in. It must be broken or something. Um. Okay. So there's no electricity to the TV. Wait. Can I? And I still also and I would check the paintings and this thing on the on the table. Yeah, just maybe. Yeah, okay. Look at that old clown. There's nothing deeply unsettling about the pictures hanging on the wall. You don't say. It's all creepy black and white clown photo. Yeah. And this looks like I don't know, a mummy or something. Yeah. Let's look at that picture. There's something. To, oh, again. So it's. Ah! Oh, couch. Ah, oh, you can sit on it. Ah, you lean back and let the cushions support you. This is the life. <laughs> Realizing you're still inside a dark, creepy perversion of your house, you snap out of your reverie. Uh, oh, you know what? If anything, you're going to interact with the lady about. Maybe the lost dog. Carpet. Look. The carpet looks extremely comfortable. Yeah, in the old days, you used to have a, a carpet flooring. The whole floor was covered carpet. I, it was so nice, but they got dirty. That's when people stopped using Feel. it. You run your hand along the carpet. Nothing that is indeed extremely soft and comfortable. Noting that it is extremely soft and comfortable. Yeah, they were so nice to walk on. Let's show her the... Yeah, you hold out the yeah. flyer, but she's not quite sure what to make of it. She grins sweetly, to be polite. Okay, so we showed her the talisman, the... I already showed her the, the talisman. shrunken head. Uh, the head. Yeah, that was the first thing she did. Before he even talked with her, he showed her this. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so... Should and the, <laughs> Maybe not. But what about uh, the rose? Would be that would be a thing maybe the lazy ladies would like. You hold out the blue rose, but she's not quite sure what to make of it. Okay. How about we talk with her some more? Maybe nothing will happen in the story unless we talk. Okay, so let's save before this because we might get game over. 
Also, we could just kind of look, have a look at, like, this looks like a werewolf, right? It looks like a normal man, but okay. I feel like I see the fangs that go up, you know? I just see soul torches. <laughs> I don't like to see in the normal pictures. Soul torches? That's what they call in Minecraft. I don't know what to oh, call them. Oh, the gotcha. Cows. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that's your generation stuff that I don't know too much yeah. about. Well, the one, another. Decorative plates that are a common collectible item among women your mother's age. I would say for you, your grandmother's age, maybe. Maybe we take one? Yeah. You lift the plate gingerly off its pegs and hide it away among your things. Okay, <laughs> you just take a plate. Well, who knows? Maybe we can smash it on someone's head or something. It's gonna rain. Or like frisbee it onto an enemy. Mm. But I, I would talk with her because maybe nothing's gonna happen in the story before you do so. Ooh, prune juice. That's. What it? if we drink it? So it's an old person thing. Yeah, you can drink it. It's not. It's not bad for you. It's like it's probably vitamins and stuff in it. You plug your nose and take a big gulp out of the glass. It goes down easier than you expected. Okay. You have a good sense for things, because I kept talking about that drink, and you were kind of, like, wary of it. And, uh, yeah, now everything's purple, so... After a moment, maybe you're, you were right. After a moment, your vision grows cloudy, and a wave of exha exhaustion washes over you. You're starting to get tired. You feel incredibly weak. Wrinkles stretch across your hands and arms. Are you starting to get old from old people drink? You struggle to think of a way out, but you're just so tired. Maybe you'll come up with an idea tomorrow. You lie down on the floor, ready for a nice long nap. Oh, no! The old lady put some sleeping medicine, I think. She put some sleepy stuff in the drink. Maybe she... Oh no! I told you! You knew that! I I just didn't know stuff! Like, I know stuff! Well, I really... <laughs> like, see. I know what is suspicious. You got it, you really got it. Where did I save? What did I not get? Oh, so I already got the horse book. Okay, so it's just before I took the plate. Okay, so you're not supposed to, Okay, she wants to push you to sleep. That's a bad sign. Yeah. An old lady that wants to put sleepy medicine in your drink? Uh-oh. That can only mean bad stuff. But maybe we could You should have looked at it first. Okay, what, hap what does he say when he looks at it? This glass is already full of a dark, thick liquid. Is it supposed to be yours? Yikes. Okay. Um, well, maybe I would talk with her more, though. Huh? Toothy grin spreads across the woman's face before she speaks. There you are, Shan. Come give me a big kiss. No way. You aren't sure. You shake your head. Ah, is that any way to treat your Aunt Dahlia? Well, what if, what have, okay, if I apologize. Sorry, Aunt Dahlia. That's okay, child. Sit down and have some prune juice. Your loving aunt saved for you. And the drink's already ready there. Like, yeah, no, you were right to be suspicious about that. I'm not... No, because then I'm just going to die and we're going to do all this again. Yeah. No, thanks. I'm not thirsty. Perfectly all right. Maybe later. Aunt Dahlia relaxes in her chair and rests her chin casually on her hand. Let's... Oh, that's creepy the way she talks. Let's talk for a bit. How was school today? I don't know. I guess to give details instead of being dismissive, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about school. There's a lot going on 
this is going to take a while. Well, there's this kid, Brandon. Well, also now you learn about yourself in the story. Well, there's this kid, Brandon, in my English class. He used to be okay, but lately he's telling people things that aren't true. You ramble on for several more minutes. And it's like, if that's how you feel, just tell t me to my face. I don't have time for all the drama. And maybe we should change the subject. The deadline for picking clubs is coming up in a few weeks, and I haven't made a decision. I'm not even sure I want to be in a club. Sometimes I wonder... You exhaust the topic of school activities and pause for a breath. Okay, so you've been talking a lot with her. At which point you realize you haven't given Aunt Dahlia room to comment for ten minutes or so. Let that, her speak. Yes. You take a break, creating a natural point for the woman to jump in with a comment. What do you think? Hmm. She trails off, either lost in thought or falling asleep. Is she drinking that sleepy stuff herself? I don't know. Let's wake up our minds with a little prune juice and then examine the situation as a whole. You ignore her offer yet again and get back to your tale. Okay, <laughs> keep talking. The teachers are no help either, which is hard to accept. You would think your story is rudely interrupted by a loud, sharp snort. Yes, we got her to fall asleep. Yeah. With a long, boring story. <laughs> Aunt Dolly is asleep, snoring in fact. You weigh your options. Now there's a lot of stuff you can do that she's asleep. You can wake her up or let her sleep. Let her sleep. Yes. You sink lower, careful not to make a sound. There's no telling how deeply she's sleeping. Free the... Free of the woman's uncomfortable gaze, you turn your attention back to the room. Now, where were you? One thing that you might not have thought is that you can actually... Maybe you can take the... Maybe the sleepy potion could be good for you to have. Like maybe there's like a scary dog or something and you can put it to sleep by putting it in their bowl. If you take, can't take the cup, maybe you can put the sponge in it to take the, the, the sleepy potion. Yeah. Yeah, I can only drink. So maybe the sponge can do something. You squeeze the sponge, holding it as far away from yourself as possible. A bit of water seeps between your fingers. Right? You win this time, sponge. <laughs> That's all. What? Her eyes snap wide open like a pair of headlights. She looks at you suspiciously. It resumes her calm demeanor before long. Ah, you were trying to get some of that drink in a sponge, but she woke up. We talked a lot about stuff. We actually made her fall asleep. Yes. Now we'll just say... Uh, and don't drink the drink because it, it turns us to something. Or it makes us tired. That prune juice is an mm. evil plan. So we're not going to read everything, but, uh, yeah. Uh, the I'll read if it's something new. Yeah. yeah the stuff we read last Yeah. Time. yeah okay. And now she turned to sleep. Yeah. Now, you know what? Uh, you let her sleep. Yeah. Check her. Maybe she has something in her pockets or something. Yeah. Let's, uh... Oh, so, can I look, check? So, look. She seems to have dozed off. You could probably mess with her if you had a good idea for a prank. What well, would be a good idea for a prank? Maybe let's look, uh... uh yeah. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure we could put something in her glass. See? That's what you could do. You know what? Yeah, don't do that, but maybe it's a thing, but look at what other things you have. Maybe there's something you could put in her drink. Maybe put the jelly in the drink. Okay, we could try. Oh, she's already awake. Oh. You need to make her tired 
again. Yeah, I just want to be taken seriously, you know? It's so hard at this age, but after a very thorough dissection of your social circle, you realize you haven't given Aunt Dahlia any time to interject. Right. Take a break so that she can talk. What do you think? Well, dear, it all sounds very stressful, doesn't it? Times like this, I find it's best to clear my head with a fresh juice. Decline. I know I made it sound pretty bad, but everyone is mostly okay. It's just once in a while that... She started snoring. Okay, so I am thinking you sponge on the drink. Yeah, we did that before. We tried, but maybe now... You win this time. Okay. Yeah. Can I have an idea. Do we have any prune juice? Purple stuff. Purple stuff, yeah. That, so that is what... Yes. Oh, but she's awake. Okay, let's make her... What if we put this in her drink? So then she's gonna fall asleep when she drinks it. Well, I don't think... Well, maybe it is. Being careful not to make a sound, you lean in front of Dahlia and pour the bottle's contents into her glass. She awakens with a start and resumes sipping at her glass as if nothing happened. After several sips, Dahlia realizes something is wrong and begins coughing. Looks like the prune juice works both ways. What, what did you do? She collapses on the table, clawing toward you. You little punk! How dare you! Hey guys, this is Odin from the studio here. What a cliffhanger we just had here, huh? Thrilling. But we're going to save the suspense and end this episode here. As a side note, I just want to say that I'm aware of some of the sound issues we're having. That beeping you often hear, beep, 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 is actually my speaker's Bluetooth feature trying to connect with my devices. It can't stand being disconnected, even though it's connected by cable. Yeah, it's a weird one. I did my best to edit around that and other things. You guys have no idea, but it's a lot. Editing is a lot of work, very time consuming, but fortunately, I really enjoy it. And I'm very grateful to have your attention and patience with me during my early channel beginnings here, while I'm still trying to get a handle on all these things. For future recordings, I have an easy fix for that beeping speaker in mind, so don't worry about that. And steadily, my channel is going to get better and everything more streamlined. I'm already kind of seeing it going in that direction now, like in my God of War series, though that one's uh, more for grown-ups. But for now, let's just enjoy this Halloween and get cozy with our families and friends for this crisp and special season. It sure is one of my favorites. Well, I have more editing to do, so see you in the next one. Until next time, have a good one. Wow. <laughs>